Texas, uh, does your governor deserve all that credit? Not quite. <laughs> I'm a taxpayer there. My taxes have gone up. Our taxes have uh, doubled since he's been in office. Our debt, our spending has gone up double. Our debt has gone up nearly triple. So no, and 170,000 of the jobs were government jobs. So I would put a little damper on this, but I don't want to offend the governor because he might raise my taxes or something. <laughs> But I, I would like to uh, mention something that was said earlier about a tax cut and can you, uh, how do you pay for a tax cut. I think that's the wrong principle because when you give people their money back, it's their money. You don't have to pay for it. That means the government owns all of our money if you look that way. All right. So we, we have to uh, cut the spending and a good way to start, there's a uh, little embassy we built over in Baghdad. It cost us a billion dollars. It's bigger than the Vatican. That's what's bankrupting this country, and that's the easy place to cut. That's where we should be cutting. Governor Perry, uh, yeah. you have 30 seconds to tell right. Congressman Paul whether you're going to raise I've, his While taxes. I've been governor, we have cut taxes by $14 billion, 65 different pieces of legislation. You may not have seen them, uh, Representative Paul, but the fact of the matter is there are people coming to Texas for five years in a row, the number one destination. They're not coming because we're overtaxing them. We're, we're, they're coming to Texas because they know there's still a land of freedom in America, freedom from overtaxation, freedom from over litigation, and freedom from over regulation. It's called Texas. We need to do the same thing for America. And, uh, let me bring Speaker Gingrich into this conversation. Jobs, jobs, jobs. All of us who covered you when you were Speaker and you worked together with President.